hello friends how you doing out there i welcome you to another interesting tutorial with in corel draw in today's tutorial i'm going to teach you how you can create a modern real estate logo so let's get the tutorial started so welcome back friends so the first thing you have to do is to make page size of 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels then you go to your toolbar and click on your rectangle. Now you draw your rectangle. Next, click once the rectangle, then you go to your menu bar, type 45. Then you press enter. Good. So the next thing you have to do is to duplicate this particular shape by press Ctrl Z on your keyboard, then Ctrl V on your keyboard. So now the next step you have to take is to go to your menu bar, select Mirror Fatica. Good. So at this point now, you're going to press down the Ctrl key and drag it out and snap to the shape. Good. Then you press the shift key and select the second shape. You're going to select everything. Then at the menu bar here, select wet. Good. So at this point now, the next thing you are going to do is to duplicate this shape by press Ctrl Z. Then Ctrl V. So you come to this edge and press that Ctrl key and flip to this, uh, to the other side. So at this point now, the next thing you have to do is to position this one to be at this point here All right so the next step i'm going to take is to select everything and go to your tools bar i mean go to your menu bar click on group so at this point now the next thing you have to do is to press p to centralize the shape so at this point now the next thing you are going to do is to grab your ruler Target the midpoint. Right. So the next thing I'm going to do is to go back to my tools bar and select pen tools. Then you can start your sketch from any angle. Close the note here good so at this point now the next thing you have to do is to go back to your pen tools again then you make a curve at this point here Then you return with your hotkey. You return with your hot key down.
then you cut out with the control key so the next thing you have to do is to sketch another shape at this point then you return with hot key down you cut it with your control key so at this point now you can reshape this one by go to your shape tools then select the area Z to Z so another thing you have to do is to grab your rectangle tools and draw rectangle at this point so we can duplicate this one by press ctrl z on your keyboard then ctrl v to paste and drag it to this side good so the next thing i'm going to do is to draw another rectangle at the top here let me zoom out the entire document okay so the next thing you have to do is to go back to your tools bar and grab your pen tools then you draw a straight line from the midpoint so you can give the stroke five Yeah, five so at this point now you press down the shift key on your keyboard and click on the other shape then you go to your menu bar click on group so at this point now i'm going to copy it by press ctrl z then ctrl v so i'm going to copy the place the duplicate here and i'll resize good so let me zoom in the entire document Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do now is to apply Smart Fill to the logo. So before we apply Smart Fill to our logo, so we can take this shape up a little bit. Okay, so now the next thing we are going to do is to apply Smart Fit to our logo. So you go to your tools bar, then select Smart Fill. So at this point now, you can start from any angle, just apply Smart Fill to all the shape. So I'm going to press that shift key and wedge all the shape together. Then you go to your menu bar, click on wedge. So the next one is this one here. Then you press down the shift key on your keyboard. Go to your menu bar, click on wedge.
Good. So the next thing I'm going to do is to press down shift key and go to my menu bar. Click on wedge. Next. Then I'll click on wedge. So at this point now, the next thing I'm going to do is to bring out the shape. You press down the shift key on your keyboard and click on the shape one after the other. Then you drag it out. Control Z. Still have to wet one shape here. Shift key, then wet. Now we can we can group them together. So at this point now, I'm going to select all these. Then you press the delete key on your keyboard. Then go back to the shape. Then press P to centralize the shape, the logo shape. So in this case now, I'm going to ungroup them again. Then select this one. Uh, right click this place to remove stroke. Remove stroke. Now we have removed all the stroke so the next step to take now is to apply color to our logo so we start from here the color here was uh, sky blue then the inner stroke white color good then the next step to take now is to apply fonting fill to my logo so what i'm going to do here is to go to your tools bar then select your look for your fonting fill so i have my interactive fill then select fonting good so at this point now i'm going to copy the color fill for the logo good now we'll copy this one also good Good. So the color I use for this logo is sky blue and 100% uh, royal blue, then black. So after you apply the color to the logo, this is exactly what you are going to get. So in this case now, I'm going to increase the outline of the shape. It. So I'm going to try it here also. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to select everything. Then you click on group. 
So at this point now, the next step I'm going to take is to apply drop shadow to my logo. When you select your drop shadow, go to the presets, then select small glue. So having select small glue, then you come to the color palette here and change the color. Good. So at this point here, this is where you control the the shadow of the the color shadow. So I think I'm okay with that figure so as you can see from the screen now we have our modern real estate logo created from the scratch to the finish so the next thing you have to do now is to apply the company name to the logo if you enjoyed this video tutorial please click on liking button and also remember to subscribe to this channel for more interesting video in CorelDRAW. thank you for watching the video from the beginning to the end see you soon bye